SmithOS is the operating system to create and deploy production agents. It's built to replace the fragility and croissant of abstractions found in existing agent toolkits. In this short SmithOS tutorial, we'll show you how to get started with our CLI and SDK to make and run AI agents. You'll also learn how to spin up an MCP server. SmithOS is cross-platform, so open your terminal and type in npm i-g at smithos slash cli. Now let's fire up Smith Runtime Environment. Type sre. You'll see different commands like agent create and update. Get help at any time by typing dash dash help. For example, type sre agent dash dash help. Now let's have some fun. It's time to chat with a Smith agent. Let's open the Crypto Info agent. This is one of the example agents you can find on our GitHub page. With the dash dash chat modifier, you'll open the agent in chat mode. Hello, who are you? What's the current price of Bitcoin? We just ran the agent in chat mode. Let's spin it up like an MCP server. Really? Just like that, you created an MCP server. Okay, one more. Run it in dash dash prompt mode. And from the command line, you can get the agent to respond back. SmithOS supports even more modes, but that'll do for this tutorial. Let's move on to the next section, where we'll learn about how to scaffold a new agent with our SDK. After you have installed SmithOS with npm i-g at smithos slash cli, you are ready to build an agent with our SDK. The CLI also comes with a scaffolding command, which you can access by running create. And here you can pass the name of your project, or if you don't pass it, you'll be asked to enter one. So here I enter the name of my project. I'll use the default value here. There's several templates for you to choose from. I encourage you to try them all to progressively discover the capabilities of our SDK. I'll try the interactive chat one. This one runs two agents. This next part, is cool. SmithOS splits the logic of the operating system, which is our runtime, from the logic of the agent, which is the .smith file, from the API keys and secrets, and encrypts these secrets in a vault. So next, we'll load the vault. But do I want to use the shared vault? Let's say, no. But I do want to use the open AI keys found in my environment. So after setting up your keys, we have one last configuration step where we'll choose the folder to store our agent data, like your agent logs, local data storage, and cache. After this short configuration, you have the option to install, run build, and start your agent. And that's how easy it is to scaffold your agent. In the next section, we'll dig into the code. Now that we've scaffolded an agent, it's time to dig into the code. We'll open our project folder in Cursor. The project comes pre-configured with a package.json, which contains your dependencies and commands to build and start your project. And it also comes with the Smith folder, which contains the vault. Before we take a look at the source code, we'll install the dependencies. So here I'll open a terminal and type npm install which will take care of that. Now that I have my dependencies, it's time to npm run build. And finally, I can run my project. Just type npm start. SmithOS asks me which agent I want to talk to, and I will choose the first one. Let's try it out. Who is the author of the black swan? Notice the tool use. Now let's take a look at how this is implemented. 
In the source code, I had my index file. This just handles the book selection with the inquirer package. I can choose between book assistant agent and crypto assistant agent. Now you can see we are importing the book assistant agent and the crypto assistant agent from the SRC agents folder. Let's take a look at the crypto assistant, which is the simplest agent. Now the crypto assistant is simply an agent which we have imported from our visual builder. You can create agents visually on smithos.com and export it with control shift E. This creates a .smith file. As you can see, Smith agents are fully compatible with our SDK. This is the same Smith file which we previously tested in our command line. So all we're doing here is importing an agent from the path that points to this Smith file. The second agent is a bit more sophisticated. Here, we first create an instance of agent. Then, we initialize a vector database with the agent scope. And then, we give the agent three skills. The first skill can index a book in our vector database. The second skill can search the vector DB for a book we previously indexed. And the last skill can search openlibrary.org for book information by name. That was not too bad, was it? You've now learned not just one, but two ways to create AI agents. Now let's run the agent again and try the two skills we didn't try yet. Book indexing and lookup. For this tutorial, we'll index a book from our data folder called bitcoin.pdf. Let's run our agent again. I choose book assistant, and now I'll just ask it to index my book and provide the path to the file. You can see the agent successfully calling the index book skill, and it tells us that it succeeded at indexing the PDF. Now let's try the lookup skill. Can you give me the page numbers and extracts of the sections that discuss the proof of work? Notice how the agent is using the lookup skill and searches for proof of work in our DB. And there you go. The agent provides you with an answer. Now you know how to install and use our CLI, how to scaffold a new agent project quickly, and how to build agents with our SDK. There's just one more thing. I want to show you how the demo agent Smith file can be loaded in our visual editor. In app.smithos.com, drag and drop your agent file in a blank canvas. From here, you get a visual canvas to edit and debug your agent with ease. And that's all for this tutorial. I sincerely hope you find it useful. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. A Smith OS. Ride the llama. Skip the drama. Mm -hmm. <laughs>